gosh, well, that was obviously a huge win, your UFC debut. How did you feel in there? Uh, to be honest, I didn't feel great after the cut yesterday, and I, you know, I just went back to my roots. I'm a jiu-jitsu girl, and that's where I started, and I, I know I have excellent jiu-jitsu, so uh, when times get rough, you go back to what you know, so uh, yeah. Jiu-jitsu for the win! But can you explain what happened with the weight cut? Uh, basically, um, after the Tough House and, you know, just a couple of weeks on the media tour and, and that kind of thing, I, I just put on quite a lot of weight and I started the cut kind of around the same time as I would normally, but I was heavier starting and uh, I guess maybe a little bit from being in the house and stuff, having to keep my weight so low every week, my metabolism was a little bit slower and the weight just wasn't coming off the way uh, it normally would and, you know, I, I didn't really have any, any choice yesterday but to, to try and dehydrate as much as I possibly could and, and that's what happened, I just got down as low as I could and then the doctor just said, look, you know, you're uh, tachycardic and your heart rate is through the roof, yeah. you know, you're, you're dry, you're not cutting anymore, that's it, you're done, so I got now to, to 118 and obviously the limit is, is 116 but um, because it's within two pounds and you, you have the choice for the, uh, to give the other team, you know, like a percentage of your purse and, and keep the fight going, so so they they agreed with that and then the fight just went ahead and, you know, I was still suffering today because of it and I probably will be suffering for a few days more, I don't think you recover from from cutting eight pounds out of a, a little body, but uh, yeah, so that's basically what, and that's kind of what I felt in there, so like I said, uh, I'm good at jiu-jitsu, so I just don't mind jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Have you found it generally difficult to cut, being that you used to fly, fight a lot at flyweight in the past, and now this is a big move for you going down to strawweight? Um, yeah, I do find flyweight, um, or flyweight was pretty easy, and I do find strawweight quite a cut, but um, yeah, I, I just didn't, I, I didn't prepare properly this time, you know, uh, so when things change, you have to change your plan. You can't keep going with what you used to do if things are different, and, and that's the mistake that I made. And it, it'll never happen again. You know that was my my twentieth pro fight, and including the house, fights in the house. You know where I made one fifteen as well. That was that was fight number twenty two. So um, that's the first time I've ever missed weight or or made a mess up like that. And um, honestly, I got a get out of jail free card tonight with getting that uh, that, that finish in the first round, and I'm just never going to make that mistake again. Oh, and she had that takedown on you. Uh, yeah. How did that you feel? Did you know right there that maybe you could work off your back and secure something from that position? Uh, I, I was pretty confident, you know. Honestly, I could have fought that takedown a little bit harder, but I kind of had it in my head. I was like, she'll take me down. She'll make a mistake in guard, and then I'll get that armbar. You know, I have a ton of wins by armbar. I think probably half of them are, are by different variations on, on armbar. I can tell you before a match that I'm probably going to armbar you, and you still won't be able to stop my armbar on you. I'm not quite Ronda Rousey, but uh, I like to think my armbar is pretty good. But um, yeah, I just I go to the all reliables. You know, I had a different game plan coming up to you know the day or two before the weigh-ins. You know, I was gonna gonna strike where my striking has really improved. I I really diverse and, and interesting striking that you know a lot of fans find really interesting. I, I switch stances. I throw weird shots like hammer fists, and you know that's what I, I plan to do. You know, put on a kind of striking clinic, and I just didn't have the the pep or kind of the awareness on my feet to be able to like, clip me a good few times. I just ate some leg kicks that. You know, uh, I wasn't sharp enough to check, so honestly, I, I just went back to what I knew I could do. I knew I could be heavy on her and, you know, good positioning and, and flick submissions and stuff, and, uh, and that's what I did when I just said, uh, I took the easy route tonight. When you, when you talked about the weight cutter being tough, did it, it added some incentive for you to finish this fight early so you wouldn't have to go into deep waters because you probably weren't feeling so well? Um, it was an extra incentive, definitely, to, to finish the fight early. Uh, I, I'm, I'm one of the most mentally tough people around like yeah, uh, I, I just the stuff I can put myself through and and still be fine like uh, I would have done 10 rounds with Alex today if, if that was what it took and I wouldn't have stopped I would have just kept going you know e even with the weight cut yesterday and the doctor saying no you're not allowed to cut anymore and I'm like no no I can definitely get down the extra two pounds I'm gonna make it so um yeah I, I didn't necessarily want to go into deep waters but I was, I was ready I was ready to go to war out there when you had the armbar since then initially, and she kind of wiggled her way out of it, um, what adjustments did you feel like you had to make? Because you got it, you got right back to it. You snatched her up, and uh, you did it. And you did a difficult one at that because you had, you didn't have your legs over her face like you should. Yeah, um, basically, uh, I was like probably a little bit too much in a hurry to, to finish it, and I was making mistakes. And you know, you can. It is possible uh, in jiu-jitsu to finish. You know, you can hip up and kind of put extra pressure on the person, and you use that hip pressure to to create extra pressure that the leg that's trapped isn't able to create anymore. So I knew it was possible to finish it, but ideally you don't, you, you have two legs over. And I, uh, I guess it was kind of like a, a, a rushed armbar or a little bit sloppy, like a, a little bit in a hurry. And uh, like my, I knew my jiu-jitsu was better than hers. And, and today, to be honest, it was a little bit sloppier than I would have liked, but 
you know, like I said, I got I get out of jail free card today, and I'm never going to make any of those mistakes again. And I'm going to have a really impressive performance next time out. I'm, you know, even if you saw my fights in the house and stuff, you know, I'm I'm a lot better than I showed tonight, and I think I cut out a lot of a lot of the strike, and I kind of eliminated one uh, one whole range of mixed martial arts tonight that I didn't want to have to deal with. So um, that won't happen again. Everything. Uh, Everything is going to be perfect the next time. So I'm assuming because you took very little damage, you're anxious to get in there pretty soon. Then again, the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, definitely. I'm always eager to go. You know, uh, the UFC pay us well. It's a great organization. You know, uh, I used to fight regularly for peanuts. You know, uh, I fought on a, another well-known show where um, it came to the end of the show and I owed them money because I had to pay for my visa uh, on my horse. So you know, uh, I'm definitely happy to fight here if the UFC want me back. You know. Uh, Boston, whatever, you know, there's a lot of Irish people on that card. If they got me somebody for that, I wouldn't mind at all. You know, I'd be straight back in there. Or, you know, there's a February London card. I, I could do that. I could do them all. Feck it, you know. Uh, Crow Park in, in May or whatever, you know. Stick me to call main event with Connor, you know, the king and queen of Irish MMA. Let's rock it out.